Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. I know it's been a while since uh, I've been with you in the gym, but uh, I wanted to start this whole thing up again. Even though I'm not really getting ready for a competition, I am starting to uh, increase my conditioning. So I thought I'd try and bring you along once a week or uh, even more and actually show you my workout. Today I'm training legs, uh, quads specifically. So uh, I'm going to show you my first warm-up set and then uh, pretty much show you every exercise and set thereafter. So follow me. Now, sometimes I'll start with a big compound movement like uh, squats or leg press, but uh, recently I've been using an isolation machine like the uh, seated leg curl. Get a good three, four sets out on here to really pump some blood into the quads and start to mobilize around the knee joint. And then when I start on the uh, compound movement, I can start to load the weight up and get some deeper, heavier exercises with that. So about three sets of uh, 20 reps, nowhere near to the point of uh, muscular failure just to get some blood pumped into the area. So it's only about 40-50% of my maximum weight and then uh, I really hit my warm up on the squats and progressively increase the weight thereafter. I oh, know there's a lot of controversy out there, people are saying stretch before, stretch after, don't stretch. Me, I just feel better when I do some light stretching, kind of open out the muscle fibers during this warm up and then actually during the heavier sets I'll use my uh, travel roller, like a foam roller to really get in there and open apart the muscle fibers to basically allow more nutrients, blood, oxygen into the muscle and keeping them open so that when I squat down I can get a deeper, more efficient squat. Slow, precise movements, up, squeezing that muscle and Starting to build up to more of a power movement, so explode up, slide back down. This way, as I squeeze, get all of the blood, the nutrients into the muscle, ready to jump if you like when I do the, uh, the exercise. So, even though it's a warm up, I still make sure that every repetition counts and I'm not just going through the numbers 1 to 20. I'm starting to take the weight up now, getting towards the end of my warm up set on this first machine. Sometimes what I do is change the angle of my foot positioning so the gait between sort of my, my feet, my knees, and my hips remain pretty much the same. But what I do with my toes is slightly angle them in or outwards towards the final few sets just to affect which portion of the leg I'm kind of targeting more. It doesn't mean I'm training that specifically. So if I keep my toes out like this, I just feel I'm placing more emphasis on the, this teardrop, the vastus medialis. So this is a weak area for you. Try just a slight angle outwards, see I'm like 20 degrees on the same inwards. Just by slight inwards, I feel like I'm hitting more this outer sweep now. So depending on which stage of the training I'm in, I'll focus more on shifting that angle of my toe, my, my foot position. But really for right now, just keeping it neutral, Toes, knees, and hips all in that same alignment. And I find this is the most effective way for lifting that weight, and especially if your goal is mass, to be able to lift the most weight. Okay, just a light stretch, 15 seconds on each leg. I'm not really pulling too hard, just opening up those fibers. And again, if I do a warm up and an intermediary warm up, a kind of a bridge between that first warm up set and my first work set, where, as the name suggests, I really start to work hard on squats. 